For more on this, we're now joined by Ahmed Rushdi. He is a senior foreign policy advisor uh, in Baghdad. Good to have you on the show, Ahmed. Um, you know, almost four months after the general election, the country still hasn't chosen a, a new prime minister. Uh, a cancellation or a boycott of the presidential election would be just the latest chapter of political turmoil. Well, the turmoil has already happened after the uh, announcement of the results of the elections. Uh, so it's not, uh, it's, it's easy to know that uh, the situation will be completed more and more. And uh, let us not forget, it's supposed to be today, it is the, con constitu the end of the constitutional period to uh, uh, choose a, a, the president of Iraq. But the problem, there will be no quorum inside the session of the parliament, which means that it will be either postponed or uh, the, the second scenario is that they will open uh, uh, the, uh, to, to have more candidates uh, uh, or new candidates for the presidentship, which I think the second, the second scenario will happen. Uh, uh, that means we will have new candidates, and eventually there will be some sort of a compromise between the political parties, uh, the political blocs, about the president of Iraq. And let's know uh, a very important issue is that Iraq does not have a president. That means Iraq does not have a prime minister, because it's supposed to be that the president will nominate the—will uh, uh, ask the biggest bloc inside the parliament to make uh, uh, or to, to form the government, which means at, uh, at the end, uh, the president will have the power to say who can make the new, the new government of Iraq. Uh, and this is the obstacle. Until now, we are uh, staying in the middle. Uh, the crisis is still complicated, it's still complicated day by day, and no one knows what's going to happen after that. Um, I want to get your thoughts on how much you think this was a blow for Muqtada al-Sadr, who was the biggest winner in the uh, October elections. And we all know that he's been supporting Hoshar Zabari's uh, bid for president. Well, uh, uh, eventually there is a, an alliance between uh, Al KDB, uh, Muqtada Sadr, and the Sunnis. So, uh, and Hoshar Zibari is the the candidate of the KDB. So, it's supposed to be that those three, those great three inside the parliament, will supporting uh, uh, Hoshar Zibari, and and that's why. Everyone, actually, everyone from those three uh, uh, will not attend uh, the session today. Uh, and even the, the coordination frame, the other part, also will not attend uh, uh, the, uh, the session today, which show you that uh, they want to see a solution. And the solution is not attending the session, rather than be outside the session, uh, uh, not making a quorum, then the, 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 the speaker or the, uh, uh, the presidentship of the parliament will ask to postpone uh, uh, the session and also to reopen uh, uh, the nomination for, for, the, uh, for the president of Iraq, and which show you that maybe, maybe they are giving signals to the KDB to have a substitution for Hoshar Zibari. We'll see which one of those scenarios uh, plan out. All right, Ahmed Rashi, thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. I do appreciate the analysis.